Oh my God, that is up there. Oh! I've got a couple new M2C upgrades on this thing. Big shout out to uh, Mitch and Avery Looper for uh, their constant innovation and uh, making some awesome parts for this rig. This is a really sweet platform. It's a fun truck, even stock. But again, for uh, extreme bashing, it does have its limitations. And that's where M2C Racing steps in with some awesome designs, uh, very unique and also uh, very durable at the same time. So we'll take a quick look at it. Here it goes right here. This beautiful M2C Racing 7075 4 millimeter chassis. This is a prototype chassis, but hopefully testing will go uh, very well and this thing will be available soon. As you can see, it does have a cutout right there for the spur gear, two different cutouts. And that's for a feature M2C Racing motor mount. That's a reverse mount so that you can flip your motor to run the bigger, longer cans. Here's a quick shot of the inside again with the chassis and also the uh, M2C Racing motor mount right here, which is another game changer. Uh, because the stock mount is uh, two different pieces. Of course, you got your stock mount and the center diff mount. It's plastic for one, plus it's separated from the actual motor mount. So with the stock chassis, especially under extreme conditions in the, in the chassis flex, you're gonna be separating your mesh and breaking spur gears. Again, you can adjust your mesh from the top right here. It does have a nice slide. And once you get everything locked in the way you want it, you got a screw right here at the bottom that you uh, lock down to really tighten that mesh down so it can't move. That's a really sweet design by MPC Racing. I'm still running the stock motor right now. I'm pretty much running extreme gearing of a 1746. Uh, this thing does get hot, but I just give it some cool downs while I'm staging shots and stuff. I just really like the extra power. This design also has an M-Bell support right there, as you can see at the back of the can. That basically um, mounts with the stock motor mount uh, holes right there. You put two screws in it to lock that plate in. And that's a nice support for your M-Bell. This is about the biggest can you can go. A 4082 will actually hit the steering post right here. And you can't even slide the motor in. So uh, again, with the M2C Racing's new mount, they're gonna have our optional mount. You can flip the motor around and uh, you got all this space back here. Then you can use like an armor receiver box to uh, put your receiver. Now I wanna give a big shout out to a Kimberly Sanchez from Basher Queen. This is her uh, Basher Queen Towers, a uh, carbon fiber. I did run a bead of super glue around the edges right there just to kind of uh, try to stop from any kind of fraying. But these towers are strong, uh, stronger than a stock aluminum tower. It takes a really hard hit to snap these towers. Uh, but they definitely won't be bending on you, which is really cool. So again, big shout out to a Basher Queen. On this truck, I was having issues with the drive shafts popping out, especially in the back once everything got wore in. So what I did is what I usually do on my trucks is I add in a half inch bump stop at the bottom of the shock right there. You just pull off your, uh, you take the shock off, pull the perch off, and uh, unscrew the rod in right there and slide on a piece of uh, a, a boat cooling line or a RC a fuel line, anything that'll fit over the shaft there and it'll stop it from uh, over compressing. You can still get a good chassis slap with it, uh, but it just stops it from over compressing, which uh, flexes the arm and then pops the uh, shaft out at the drive cup. My servo did go out last run, so I had one of these Spectrums in the box already as a spare, is what comes in the Arma 6S stock. So I just threw that in there. I do have a Power HD of uh, 23 kilogram coming for it. So hopefully that's gonna last a little bit, at least get me through this bash. I did install droop screws on this truck. It doesn't come with them stock. Uh, these are just four millimeter button head screws. The M2C chassis kit will more than likely come with droop screws. Here's a quick shot of the M2C universal hex with the tire off. Uh, they are splined so that you can run the stock Traxxas wheel on it. These wheel fit Arma, Techno, Losi. Um, so it's really cool that you can uh, use this on pretty much any kind of rig, eight scale rig. Again, it is 6.5 millimeters, so you get 13 millimeters extension all the way around, which works out perfect on this uh, truck to give it the perfect stance, especially running backflips. These uh, Arma backflip tires, you need the extra extension or else you'll end up rubbing the hubs. As far as the diff setup, right now it's all stock. I did open up the center and repack it with 20 million. It was a little bit low after a couple of hard runs. Uh, she does have the Max 6 in it. Loads of power, uh, even paired with a stock motor. Really woke this truck up, especially with this uh, tall gearing. All right, guys, pretty excited to give this thing another blast. I just hope the motor holds in it. I was having some pretty bad cogging issues last bash, especially after she started getting hot. So we'll just cross her fingers and hope it holds up. Again, big shout out to MTC Racing and also Basher Queen.
All right, guys, what do you say we send her off this cliff right here? Oh, that was a hard hit. Perfect chassis test. God, that was a loud chassis slap. Come on, girl, you can make it. Landing right on that little hill right there. Definitely a good chassis test. Yeah, guys, this thing cased right here on this mound. You can see the, uh, the spot where the chassis hit. All right, guys, I had to come out to a construction site. I got to boot at the gravel pit, which sucks. So I'm gonna play around out here. Oh! body off. All right guys, on that jump, it pulled a motor lead out, but it also broke a shock cap right here. Luckily, I got a couple spares. That's definitely going to be another upgrade for M2C Racing and some nice aluminum shock caps and a, a bladderless system as well. Guys, what do you say we send it off in this big retaining pond? Luckily, it's not full of water. It's a pretty big uh, hill right there. We'll see what she'll do. Oh, God, that was a hard hit. <laughs> not the body clean off, too. Guys, that is some massive vertical. She's hitting really hard down there. See if I can get her back up with the body on it. it popped off. Oh my God. That is up there. Oh! All right, guys, we made it down the hill. Truck is still in one piece. Mesh is still perfect. Basher Queen Towers, still perfect. This one's perfect. I did blow a shock cap. Looks like I got oil splattered everywhere. And I threw on another armor shock because I blew another shock cap. So until I get some upgraded caps in, that'll have to do for now. M2C chassis, still straight as an arrow. M2C tough. Oh, whoo. Right on another huge dirt clod. That was rough. All right, guys, it's a different day. I'm gonna give this thing some high speed street launches that I love to do. I geared up to a 25 tooth pinion, 46 spur, and a belt of guitars. Uh, it's definitely not bash gearing, it's just it's just for a few uh, really high speed uh, launches to uh, finish testing this chassis out. I'm um, on that last jump that I did at the construction site. Oh, uh, it landed really hard and cased the big rock and actually broke the chassis brace right here. The stock plastic chassis brace broke and the bolts sheared out of both of these two plastic ones right here and also uh, pop the tower to tower up and then tweak the back of the chassis just a little bit, but it was so minute I was able to uh, bend it back, no big deal. But the stock chassis would have been complete spaghetti after that. <laughs> that was a nice stunt. Beautiful. Oh, power cut out. Whew. At least 
I could land it. <laughs> Got scared there for a second. Oh, power loss. This ain't gonna be good. Oh, she almost landed just right. Ah. <laughs> uh. Yep. That motor lead came out of the ESC. This thing's taking some brutal G-forces off that. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for now. This truck did absolutely phenomenal to all the locations. A big shout out to uh, M2C Racing and Basher Queen, and also Traxxas. This is one sweet, uh, one sweet truck. I still haven't broken an arm on it. It's really cool design overall, and it's really impressive. It's a lot of fun to drive. I do plan on putting some sway bars on it because she is a little bit loose and uh, goofy handling, so that should definitely hone in on the handling of it. Uh, the chassis, we'll flip it over, put a ruler up here so you guys can see that. I hope I'm catching this in the camera. She's still perfectly straight. Even with this uh, busted brace right here, doing these high speed uh, ramp launches, everything uh, held together perfect. And uh, the motor mount, haven't lost my mesh, everything's uh, stayed intact. It's really cool when you can bring your truck back in one piece and not be all bent up and broken. So that's what M2C Racing and uh, Bastard Queen's for. And uh, we'll get out again soon. Until next time, RC Dude 81. Peace out.